Welcome to BuzzMoncton.com. Today we're talking with a very familiar face and voice here in the Metro Moncton area and the Maritimes for that matter when it comes to making music. We're talking to Alex Madsen of the Divorcees. How are you doing, Alex? I am good. Welcome aboard. See ya. Yeah. Uh, very exciting times for the Divorcees. It always seems to be whenever yep. a new album is released, and we definitely want to talk about that in just sure. a little bit. I sure. uh, want to talk first of all about uh, your passion and love for this outlaw country the sound and mm. the longevity that it's known in this area. It's a style of music that just doesn't seem to ever go away. You know, I, I played, uh, I played a, uh, a wedding uh, for a friend of mine. He asked me if I would come out and play acoustically for him last night. And uh, it was out in uh, Ammon Road, which is the outskirts of Moncton, down by, the, uh, by Crandall University. And uh, every single song was George Jones, Merle Haggard, Willie Whalen, all the outlaw stuff. And this and is the stuff they were asking for. The age bracket of the people that were listening and knew every word was about 20. Wow. Seriously, eh? It's past. It's generational. That's... That you, that's what we see in, I think, in New Brunswick. I don't know if New Brunswickers realize how rare that is. It's not like that anywhere else in Canada. You don't see multi-generational love of outlaw country like you do here. <laughs> it's pretty great. Well, it's been good to you. You guys have been good to it. Um, you're, you're, we love it. <laughs> you're locked in now, and uh, you're moving on to your fourth album release just out this summer. Yep, we, we launched the record uh, at the end of July. Uh, recorded in April uh, at a place called uh, MRC Studios in Memram Cook. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Mike Trask's studio. Uh, this album <clears throat> is, is, unlike the other ones, is a purely analog recording. We recorded the 24-inch tape for very, this one. Very pure. So, yeah, 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 back uh, to the basics. No frills. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we went very, very basic and stayed forward on So it. this is your fourth, right? Yep. Uh, tell that's us right. what's, what's the title, how many songs, uh, what can people look forward to listening to when they pick the up? The name of the record is From Labor to Refreshment, um, and the, uh, of the 11 tracks, uh, there's some noteworthy uh, things that we've done on this record that we didn't do on other ones. Uh, one of the big things that we did was uh, the initial track, Fender Bender, is a, uh, an instrumental piece that uh, I play on my Telecaster using a uh, B-Bender string bending system. Hmm. So you see guys like Brad Paisley and a few guys like that using them. Okay. And uh, so it's kind of our own little surf tune, uh, a real nod of the hat to a favorite guitarist of mine like uh, Dwayne Eddy and Dick Dale okay. and stuff like that. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, big fan of that. And then uh, on the last track of the record, we have a tune that's... Uh, is the first tune that the divorcees have ever played that was written by someone else. Okay. So, so tell us that story. Uh, I was approached by a gentleman named Conan Coates in Newfoundland who uh, asked me if I would demo a song for him. He simply wanted to hear someone sing it. And I said uh, I would consider it. And he went on to explain that uh, his uh, voice was shot because he had radiation on his throat. He had throat cancer a number of years back. Mm -hmm. so he couldn't sing. I, I thought about it and I thought, I'm really flattered by that. that that's a very flattering thing. I said, look, I can't do this, but would you do it for me? Yeah. And uh, I said, sure, I'll do my best. I'll give it a try. I, don't, I can't guarantee anything, but I'll try. So he sent me the lyrics and they were sprawling. There was probably eight or nine verses. Wow. Uh, but there was something in there. So I picked and chose the, the, the real standout verses. And uh, lo and behold, once I had done that, uh, brought it down to, you know, three verses, uh, the song really started to come together and stand out. I liked it enough that when I performed it acoustically, sent the demo over to Conan, I couldn't stop playing it at home, and I eventually said, I've got to show the guys this. So I played the MP3 to them, sent it to them on, on the Internet, and immediately got a reply back from all three guys saying, we want to try this at the next rehearsal. And uh, over time, it became the favorite song on the, on the, on the record. Mm -hmm. Like, it's the band's favorite track. And uh, Conan came down for the launch. He's from uh, St. John's, Newfoundland. So it must be pers one. obviously a, a personal sentiment in the song. It is. It's yeah. a very cowboy song called uh, Riding Off in the Sunset. And he's in his early 60s. And you can tell that this is a, a very personal, you know, I'm, I'm ready to retire kind of tune and it wow. really struck a chord with not only us but whoever we play it for yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of people come up and, and respond very positively to the tune right they on. relay a lot 
Uh, you've talked a little bit about the other members of the band. There's been some personnel uh, changes of, yes. of late. Yeah. Uh, we uh, brought on a new uh, rhythm guitar player. His name is Sean Thomas, and he's done a lot of work with a number of different artists, with um, uh, the Ginger Kings and La Dive. Uh, he's a very talented electric guitarist, extremely good lead playing chops. Uh, we have him on acoustic guitar in the band, but... Uh, I think it's only a matter of time before he migrates to an electric instrument at least some of the time and, yeah. and does some different things. He's a, a very gifted player, but he's also uh, very good spirited, like uh, uh, brought a lot of positive energy to the band and uh, a really easygoing vibe. Fits in very, very well with us. Uh, over the last few years, we brought in uh, Kevin McIntyre on uh, drums as well as, as Brock decided to step aside. Mm -hmm. And then uh, with with uh, Kevin coming in, uh, with Brock's blessing as well, because Brock, Brock knows Kevin and, and gets along really well with him. Uh, there's a shared history with a lot of these musicians that have come and gone in the band. And Kevin's no different with that. Uh, I've known Kevin since 1996 when he was in Thunder Funk, mm -hmm. and I was in Smiley. Mm -hmm. Very good. So there's a lot of history. There's a lot of history there for yeah. sure. A lot oh, of respect yeah. too, obviously. Pretty great, between yeah. Between players, you know. We have a lot of fun together, and it, it's, uh, you know, we play our shows, and a lot of people come up to us afterward and say, you guys are laughing the whole time. Are you guys really having that kind of a good time? It's like, we are. We're yeah. absolutely having that kind of a good time. You yeah, know? you guys can't fake that stuff. No. Um, so you're playing a rather big stage uh, in just a little while, the Capitol Theatre on the 24th of September. Really excited about this show. Uh, this is, um, <clears throat> it's, it's not a common occurrence for us uh, to do this show. Uh, over the years, we've been trying to build on uh, an Outlaw Tribute show. Uh, so with the addition of Sean and Kevin into the lineup and things have been reasonably stable since the turn in 2016, we were finally able to start chipping away at that stone and building a, a very stable show. Right. And uh, so what we've done is we've got a show that uh, will feature uh, eight number one hits of Willie, eight number one hits of Waylon, eight number one hits of Merle Haggard, and eight number one hits of Johnny Cash, all in the same night. And then I culminate the show with uh, all four voices of the Highwaymen at the end of the show. Nice. And I have some special nice. guests. Uh, I'll have Kyle Burt coming in for keys for the uh, Willie Nelson set. Okay. Uh, I have Coco McGraw coming in for uh, some pedal steel. Yeah. And uh, in Johnny Cash, I have uh, uh, Sam Lovely is going to come in and do some. Uh, she's really well known in the, in the dinner theater uh, okay. side of things. She's going to do some June Carter. And Johnny Cash songs with me, so it's it's a real mixed it's a really mixed set by set type of show. So each set's a little mini show in itself. Sounds so, like it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a really fun it's, show. Yeah, right oh, yeah. up your alley too. This is not something that you shy away from for sure. No, and it, I mean this is not a you know we're not dreading this show. <laughs> we're looking forward to it. It's pretty fun. I mean we we yeah. get just to play these shows in front of people. Yeah. Like I I always say to people that if I wasn't playing this show. I'd be looking for a band that did, and I'd be in the front row. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, yeah. you know, well, I'm happy to provide you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be on the on the giving end, perhaps. Eh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, tickets are obviously going to be available for that show, and maybe you can let folks know about your, your the album, the new CD. Where can they uh, hear it, pick it up, purchase, all that stuff? Well, currently, Frank's is uh, definitely a go-to place. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe we have some down at Spin It. Uh, CD Baby is a, a fantastic retailer that we appreciate and support. And, of course, we've got iTunes as well, so you can go any number of different ways to get right. at it. So either if you want the hard copy or... Hard copy you or can, soft copy, or, yeah, yep, either way. Yeah, and you good. can always come to our shows. Well, there. You have have some, you in have a great big blue suitcase. Is that right? With big dents in the corners. So. so go to Divorcee <laughs> Show and look for the big blue suitcase. You'll likely have some at the uh, Capitol Show as well. Yeah, and we're still waiting on vinyl, uh, but we're excited. We, we made this record... Uh, to respond well to a vinyl format, so uh, that's a big uh, bucket list. That's gonna sound big check mark, really sweet achievement unlocked kind of thing. Is I've it? never made a, a record for vinyl in my entire career, no so yeah. this will be a really exciting thing to hold a vinyl album in my hands. And, well, all the best you know. to you and Thank the Divorcees you. as you launch another chapter in this amazing journey. It's fun. Yeah. Every day is an adventure. <laughs> Thank, thanks for the music. You're welcome. And for everything you guys provide. It's totally okay. fantastic. So come on back to buzzmoncton.com and check out what's going on in our events calendar to see what's going on in your neighborhood. You'll probably find out where the divorcees are playing next there, too, as we keep track of everybody as best we can here. So see you down the road. Come on back. All right.